Oh, hello there. Brett McKay here from theartofmanliness.com. Caught me in the middle of an experiment. Do you guys ever feel like you're busy all day? You're answering email. You're just, you feel busy. But at the end of the day, you feel like you didn't accomplish anything. Well, there's a reason why you feel like that. And I'm going to do a little object lesson or experiment to show you why that is. We're going to say that this jar represents your life or your calendar or your schedule. And the way most people go about their life is they fill it up first with stuff that's not very important. And that's going to be represented by this water. So this is like surfing the internet, checking out Reddit, checking out Buzzfeed. Don't do that anymore. Quit checking Buzzfeed. Stuff that adds really no value to your life. And then what they do is they do stuff that's a little bit more important, that has some value, but really not much. And that's, gonna, that's represented by this sand. So this is, you know, answering some work email that really could have been answered, you know, done over the phone in five minutes, but it's turned into 50 different emails. And this is like when you're, you're doing uh, research on the internet, but then you somehow end up back at those time wasting sites. So that's the sand. And then we start doing stuff that's, you know, a little bit more important, but not all that important. And that's represented by this gravel. So, you know, this could be probably a lot of busy work that a lot of people do. All right. So it's, you know, stuff that has some value, but not all that much. And then you realize, man, I haven't done anything. I've been really busy, but I haven't got any work done. I got to do, focus on those really important things. So you try to cram those big rocks in. Those big rocks represent the most important things in your life. It could be things like family, it could be your health, your spirituality. It could also be tasks um, in work or in class that will bring you closer to your goal. So you try to cram that in, into your calendar or your schedule you quickly realize there's no room in your calendar because you filled it up with all this other stuff that's not really important and you don't have room for the important stuff. But here's the catch. With just a bit of rearrangement and some prioritization, you would have been able to fit all of the most important tasks, your big rocks, and all of this into your calendar and schedule. Don't believe me? I'll show you. All right, so we got a new schedule. This time, instead of filling up our schedule, metaphorical schedule with the dumb stuff first. We're gonna put the most important things and put those in first. So we're gonna put the big rocks in. Now this is gonna be different for every person, what those big rocks are. If you wanna be a writer, for example, you should set aside time to write. That'd be a big rock. If you're a dad, setting aside time for family time would be a big rock. Working out, exercising would be a big rock. And you would treat these things basically like a doctor's appointment on your calendar. Like you would block it off and if someone wants to do something during that time, you tell them, sorry, I already got something going on, even if that is working out. Just whatever is really important, you wanna make sure that you get done. You, do, you schedule that first. Then after that, you can start putting in some of those, filling in the gaps with the stuff that's not really important, but just a little bit important. Things like work emails, there you go. Of course, you'll need to rearrange things sometimes. So you did some of the stuff that's not too important, but still needs to be done. But you still have room. You still have time for some of that fun stuff that's just mindless. So go ahead, after you've done your big rocks, done the stuff that's sort of important, you can do some bit of mindless web surfing. Put some more in there. Still got plenty of room. Let it sift through, okay. And here's the thing there's still room for more. I mean, we could probably put more sand in here. Some more fun stuff. That's really heavy. We got the water. This is just like stuff, I don't even know what. It's like not important at all. All right, so as you can see, we are able to fit in a lot more, including the big rocks. And the key was we had to put the big rocks in first. So my challenge to you this week is as you sit down with your calendar and plan out your week. And if you're not planning, I 
definitely recommend you tr start doing that. Um, find out what your big rocks are. What are the most important things that you w need to be doing? Again, if you want to be a writer, a big rock would be setting aside time for writing. If you want to be a musician, setting aside time for deliberate practice on whatever instrument it is that you're doing would be a big rock. Family is a big rock. Health is a big rock. At work, you're going to have different big rocks that are going to pop up every week. The key is though, is you do those first. Do those first. And as you do that, you're going to find that you're going to be more productive, more effective, and you'll have time for everything else in life. Those emails, those phone calls, those network meetings, it's all going to be able to fit in there, but you have to do the big rocks first. So that's a challenge to you. Until next time, this is Brett McKay telling you to stay manly.